Hi children, a warm welcome to the English Digital Classroom. You might be eagerly waiting for today's session, am I right? In the previous session, you have read a reading of fourth unit, the fun they had, haven't we? In that reading, you have come across certain sentences that I am going to show you now. He added loftily, pronouncing the word carefully. Her mother had shaken her head sorrowfully. Margie always hated the school. Now, you read the sentences once again, concentrating on the red colored words. Okay. How did he add? He added loftily. It means in a superior way. How did the mother shake her head? She shake her head sorrowfully. All of these words tell us how the actions have taken place. Those are called as adverbs. Now, let us see what the adverbs are. The boy wrote neatly. The garden is so beautiful. He drove the car rather cautiously. The boy wrote neatly. The word neatly tell us how the writing was done. The word wrote is a verb here it is qualifying the verb. The word which is qualifying a verb is an adverb. Next sentence, the garden is so beautiful. In this sentence, the word so tell us how much beautiful the garden is. Here the word beautiful is playing the role of an adjective. The word which is qualifying an adjective is an adverb. The third sentence, he drove rather cautiously. In this sentence, the word rather talks about cautiously, which is an adverb. The word which is qualifying another adverb is also called as adverb. From the above examples, we can say the word which qualifies or talks about a verb, adjective and another adverb is called as an adverb. Adverbs can be of various types. The first type of adverb is adverb of manner. Let us watch this video. <coughs> Children, how is the child crying? Yes, you are right, she is crying loudly. Look at this image now. Children, who is she? Yes, you are right, she is Chitra. How does she sing? She sings melodiously. Children, how is the woman sleeping? Yes, the woman is sleeping comfortably. How are children learning the things? Children are learning the things. Practically, how are the tables arranged? The tables are arranged meticulously. How are the books arranged? The books are arranged properly. The words loudly, melodiously, comfortably, practically, meticulously and properly talk about how or in what manner the actions have taken place. Hence, these are called adverbs of manner. Let us see more examples. Rithik writes neatly. Veena cooks deliciously. Nikki did everything properly. The sun shone brightly. He ran fast to reach in time. From the above examples, we can derive that adverbs of manner talks about in what way the actions are done. They answer the questions, how or in what way the things are done. The second type of adverbs are adverbs of place. Let us see the following example to understand what they are. Children, where did we arrange the TV? We arrange the TV in the corner. Where is the girl drawing the picture? The girl is drawing a picture on the board. Where are the books? The books are inside the bag. Where is the book? The book is outside the bag. Where is the woman hiding? 
the woman is hiding behind the sofa. The words in, on, inside, outside, behind are adverbs of place. Let us see some more examples to understand what they are. My friend always sit here. He is sitting there. I kept the books above the shelf. She kept the bag under the bench. The cat jumps over the table. The words here, there, above, under are the adverbs. They tell us where the actions have taken place. From those examples, we can derive that adverbs of place talks about where the action is done. It answers the question where. The third type of adverbs are the adverbs of time. Let us see some images to understand what they are. He is reading a book now. She sang a song yesterday. I polished my shoes today. He is swimming still. It rained all the day. In the above example, now, today, yesterday, all the day are the words which talk about when the action has completed. Let us see some more examples to understand clearly. I met her already. She passed her graduation last year. I am going to Chennai for a week. I have been studying in the school since 2014. I will teach you grammar for a while. In the above examples, the red curl words tell us when the action took place. From the above examples, we can conclude that adverbs of time talks about when or how long a work is done. It answers the question when or how long. Children, the next type of adverb is adverb of degree. Let us see the following videos to understand what they are. Children, how is Cheetah running? Yes, you are right. It is running very fast. Look at another video. Children, how is the Tata is walking? It is walking very slowly. Now, look at the images. The aeroplane is very big. The bird is flying so high. The coffee is too hot. The man in blues is running very fast. He almost completed his work. In the above example, so, very, to, almost are the adverbs tell us the intensity of the work. Let us see some more examples to understand what they are. The price of gold is absolutely high. She is quite all right. It is rather simple question. You are bit late. She cooks very tastily. In the above example, rather absolutely bit, the words tell us about the intensity of action. From the above examples, we can derive that adverb of degree tells us about to what extent an action takes place. It answers the question how much or to what degree or what extent a work is done. The next type of adverb is adverb of frequency. To understand what they are, let us see the following examples. He plays the cricket every Sunday. He shaves every day. He drinks milk twice a day. He wears hat now and then. He raises his hand every time, every Sunday, every day, twice a day. Now and then and every time are the adverbs which tell us how often certain things are done. They are called as 
adverbal frequency. Let us see some more examples. He always come to school in time. He never comes late. She sometimes get nervous. We often go to the garden. Veena occasionally cooks biryani. The words in red color tell us how often the things are done. Let us see some more example to understand. From the above examples, we can derive that adverb of frequency tell us how often the things occur. The next type of adverbs are adverbs are reason. To understand what they are, let us see some examples. I woke up late since I slept late. We are coming here to meet you. He got punishment because he came late. He slid from the steps, hence his leg got fractured. Maunika could not attend the class owing to her illness. In the above example, the words in red color tell us why certain actions have taken place. These are called adverbs or reason. Adverbs or reason talk about why certain things have taken place. They answer the question why. The next type of adverbs are interrogative adverbs. Let us see some example to understand what they are. Why did you come here? How often you swim? Where did they go? When will you come here? How much work could you complete now? How did she sing? Adverbs which are used for asking questions are called interrogative adverbs. The place of interrogative adverbs. The interrogative adverbs why, where, how, when are placed at the beginning of a question. The next type of adverbs are adverbs of negation and affirmation. Let us see the following examples to understand them. She is certainly coming. We are surely going there. They have probably finished it. You are genius indeed. We will definitely get success. I am really helping them. In the above example, the words in red color makes affirmation or makes a preposition strong. Now, look at the sentences. We could not convince him. We hardly complete the task. I am surely mistaken. He is fool indeed. You are certainly misguided. She is very dull. In the above example, the words in red color are negating the given statement or giving negative proposition. Hence, they are called adverbs of negation. The words that declare something is true or give negative statement, especially logical proposition is called adverbs of affirmation or negation. These are also used to answer the questions by saying yes or no. Children, so far you have come to know about various adverbs. To understand them very clearly, you watch a video with subtitles and try to identify the adverbs that you come across. Children, now watch this video. One day, a cunning fox was walking along the forest. It was walking slowly in search of food as usual. It was very hungry. It saw a crow flew down to a branch of a tree. It put a very big piece of cheese on the branch. The fox wanted to get the cheese anyhow. When it saw the crow eating the cheese, it salivated. It immediately thought of a cunning plan. It walked near the tree. The crow placed the cheese on the branch again and again. I must guess the cheese anyway. It said, hey crow, how beautiful you are. I heard that your voice is so melodious. Once can you sing a lovely song for me? The crow felt very proud. It opened the mouth to sing a song. 
the cheese slipped down from its mouth. The fox artfully catches it. The crow felt, how foolish am I? Children, have you watched the video? Could you notice what the adverbs are? If you have not, watch the video once again. And now the words in that sentences are highlighted. You watch it and check your understanding how far you are right. One day, a cunning fox was walking along the forest. It was walking slowly in search of food as usual. It was very hungry. It saw a crow flew down to a branch of a tree. It put a very big piece of cheese on the branch. The fox wanted to get the cheese anyhow. When it saw the crow eating the cheese, it salivated. It immediately thought of a cunning plan. It walked near the tree. The crow placed the cheese on the branch again and again. Wow, I must guess the cheese anyhow. It said, hey crow, how beautiful you are. I heard that your voice is so melodious. Once can you sing a lovely song for me? The crow felt very proud. It opened the mouth to sing a song. The cheese slipped down from its mouth. The fox artfully catches it. The crow felt how foolish am I? Children, I think now you have got clear idea about adverbs. Would you like to know something more about the adverbs? Generally, most adverbs are formed from adjectives and formed by adding ly. Beautiful, beautifully, quick, quickly, fine, finely, rare, rarely. It is not necessary that every adverb end in ly. For example, fast. The words that end in ly are not necessarily adverbs. For example, it was lovely party. Ours is a lonely house. They are in fact adjectives. Children, I think now you have come to know what the adverbs are and how to use them in sentences. Am I right? Now, you check your understanding by doing some exercises. Shall I give you some assignment? Children, now read your text, the fun they had once again and identify the adverbs that you come across in the lesson and use them in your own sentences. Children, have you enjoyed learning adverbs? Now you complete your assignment with the help of your teacher. I will be looking forward to see you again. Bye children.